Hey everybody, welcome back to Blackguard TV. It's been a while since we've done a video. We've had a pretty rough year. We're getting back up, running fully, coming up with some new content. We're gonna be delivering some more videos. This one kind of fell in our lap. A Marine reached out to me wanting a cane. Now, a cane is something that we typically wouldn't do, don't do. However, circumstances really pushed us to do this. So Scott was accidentally medically paralyzed during a procedure. He's been on the long road to recovery, trying to get back up on his feet, literally. He's currently using a walker to get around. He's about to transition to a cane. So he reached out to us because he wants a badass blacksmith, handmade swagger stick Marine Corps Americana cane. We're gonna do it. So we're gonna start with really nice piece of straight grain walnut that we're gonna turn on the lathe to get the right circumferences and the right radius is going down. Good transition, really good straight grain, so it'll be really stable. It'll also carve and be really pretty once it's polished up. Because of the difficulties he's gonna have transitioning, we went with an ergo cap uh, end cap to his cane. So these are typically found on hikers walking sticks. So they get a little bit more ground traction. They get a little bit more movement with stability, which is gonna be great for him. Uh, leading into that, the transition down from the cane is a stainless end cap. Uh, it's just gonna add a nice little bit of dressing to the cane and also add a little bit more strength and stability down at the very end of the cane. Next is gonna be the top section that meets into the handle. The walnut's gonna join in, the handle piece is gonna join in. This is gonna be engraved, carved out, and dressed to match the design. And then the biggest bit of work, this massive piece of steel. Now, we're not gonna use all the steel. We're not even really gonna use probably half of it. However, I'm gonna be working it down to get it to the shape that we need. I've got to upset the end a bit. I've got to do some reductions, some bends, and then we'll take it to the grinder, clean it up, and get it down to its final shape and profile before engraving. So I actually spoke with a few different physical therapists about the design and ergonomics of the handle piece portion of the cane. It needs to be a very specific shape and a very specific style, and it needs to have a very comfortable grip. He's gonna be using this cane for a while, uh, until he gets back to where he can walk steadily without one. All right, let's get to it.
right, everybody, welcome back. So we had a bit of a technical issue yesterday and the camera crapped out in the middle of me forging this guy, getting the bins in, but can't travel back in time. So the handle's forged, which shows the distribution being straight up. So now I've got to weld the socket on, get it all cleaned up, get it all profiled and ready for us to put the handle slabs in and do all the engraving. Now, while I'm still cleaning this up a bit, getting it ready for welding and and getting it ready for the next part of engraving, we're gonna go ahead and jump over to Shannon, who's gonna be on the lathe, who's gonna be turning the walnut for the actual shaft of the walking stick cane. Right? That's what it's called, the shaft? Shaft. Shaft. Um, but yeah, so with the ergonomics and everything in place, should be a pretty comfortable grip. Now, we were talking that once it's all set up, it's pretty much like a walking hammer. Uh, so I think that's what we're going to continue to call it for the rest of the build is the walking hammer Because uh, this thing will do Some pretty significant damage if you get smacked in the head, especially because we're gonna Relief engrave an Eagle Globe and anchor the uh, Marine Corps logo Here so you can imagine uh, stamping somebody's forehead with an EGA That would work out great. All right, let's go see what Shannon's doing. So Shannon just finished turning the shaft for the walking stick, the uh, walking hammer cane uh, on the lathe, got the reductions down so that the pieces will slide onto play, into place. Now when we do the final assembly, everything will get epoxied and pinned down so it won't go anywhere. But now what I have to do is so we've started the engraving on the handle. But now I have to carve the notches into the shaft in order to get a good solid fit up between the handle and the shaft. Um, now we have the exact measurements from the client as far as from the very top of the cane to the foot pad, the length. So we're going to be right at that magic number hopefully once I get this matched up.
right, everybody. So we've got the walking stick done portion. So it's been carved and has all the engravings in it. We've got the end cap shod and the actual walking cap on. So we have one element left on the handle. We'll finish off the uh, treatment of this handle and then we'll do the leather wrap for that last little bit and final assembly. And once final assembly is done, we'll take some photos. We'll get it boxed up and get it mailed out to the client. All right.